And no matter what, keep doing what you do. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is the first time tuning in. My name is Manifa and welcome to my channel. So, hold on. Let me reapply a video. My video. <laughs> y'all, I'm exhausted. I said video. I've been filming. I've filmed so much videos today, y'all. So, anywho, I might cut this part out because, like, is that your business? Is that your business? Maybe it is. I don't know. Well, y'all gonna know because I don't wear the same jacket three, four times. But now I change my clothes and I'm una lucky. <laughs> Anyways. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys little tips or whatever. Certain things that you guys need to know before starting esthetician school. I'd been to esthetician school about a year and a half ago. So what I wish I knew then that I knew. Which I, what I wish I knew then that I know now. Just a little advice for the girls, okay? Or the guys, I don't know. Let's just get into it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. So you can be notified every time I come post another video video disclaimer this is like advice not only specific to like esthetician school but any school in general okay yeah let's just get into the video so first thing first make sure you research the schools that you're going to make sure you research first of all know what you want to do that's one know exactly what you want to do and then research school that offer what you want to do when i say research research go to the school look upon the curriculum look upon the money the cost the environment scout out look at different options not just one that was me i looked at two different schools to be honest but they were time apart like the first school that i looked at was six months later then i looked at another school when i decided okay yeah this is what i really want to do and i saw somebody on youtube <laughs> that went to the school that i wanted to that i went to and the way the girl did that top of the school must say yeah yeah and she was so I say yeah i'm going to enjoy this school this school is going to be the best experience for me and it wasn't for the first half of the time being it was not i might go into detail about that but it wasn't the first half the second half was a lot better because teachers got switched uh environment classes got teachers got switched people got switched so i was more like meshed well with other people anyways yeah, so make sure you research the school. Make sure you go to the school, walk around the school, feel out the school, feel out the people. Um, and look at other different schools and see how you like it, how you feel when you, I mean, how do you feel when you're in the building? How do you feel when the principal, the counselor, the financial aid people talk to you? Like, do you feel forced into signing things? <laughs> Do you feel like they're just trying to get money out of you or they actually want to see you succeed in life? Even though they probably don't care because that's how most business are. They want you to rock out the money them. They want you to dish out money. I get it. But are they at least seem like they care? Like, look into that. Because. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Yeah, look into that. Also, like I said before, consider the tuition cost. Like shop around see what's cheaper or what fits your budget well don't just pick a school because it's close to you yeah pick a school that's close to you but also cost efficient it's very important think about schools that are public versus private i went to a damn private school like i really wasn't thinking when i joined or signed up for the school like i'm just a person that's like once i say i'm gonna have it i'm going to have it <laughs> like that's my mentality and i don't care about nothing i'm just like 
I want to go to an assistant school. I want to become a this. I want to become a that. Okay, let's go get it now, 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 now. Sometimes, <laughs> sit back, relax. Think about certain things. Yeah, I'm not saying that I don't think about certain things, but like, I was so ready for it to be done with. Like, I wanted to be in a career within a year. I want it to be a, a cost efficient program. But like, out of all the, the private schools, like, it wasn't the most cost efficient. It wasn't. I was just thinking about time because most of the cost. Most of the cost efficient schools that I looked at was like very long term. And that's why I say look at schools that's offering what you want. Like I wanted to be done within a year. I did not want to be in school for two, three, four, five. No, I did not want to be in school long. I wanted to get it over and done with and be in a career within a year that that's what i wanted so i was looking for schools that didn't have long programs but usually the schools that don't have long programs is the most expensive ones because they're cramming so much information in such a short amount of time so of course they're gonna cost more i was not thinking like that i was like one year six months <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 sign me up i got my need but sometimes you really need to just sit back and step back and stop trying to rush the process, okay? Another thing, make sure the program, the school is accredited, um, highly sought out, um, have their notoriety and sure the school is a great recommended school so that when you fill out applications to go to different jobs, they say, oh, you went to this school, this highly sought out, highly accredited school, for estheticians, for skincare specialists, for laser technicians. That's what I went to school for. I went to school for esthetician and also laser technician. So I'm a dual, I had a dual program. That's another reason why I chose the school that I wanted to go to because the other schools had only esthetician and then you had to go to another school for laser technician, which my school also, it had a dual program. So you will become both if you sign up for that program. So. At the end of the day, even though I'm mad that it cost way more than a pu private, a public school, I had, I got way more out of it. Let's just say that. I got way more out of that, going that way. So make sure the school is accredited because it will help you out in the long run. Also, know that everything that you learn in school, esthetician school, laser technician school, medical esthetician school, skin care school, whatever you want to call it, cosmetology, anything that you learn in the school is the basic of the basic of the basic. Everything that you will learn is going to be on hand on your, it at your job. Like you're not, they're not going to teach you, they're just going to teach you the basics of the basics. How to apply makeup, basic. How to wax, basic. How to do nail, basic. How to do the laser technician thing, how to remove hair with the laser basic that class literally was one day basic basic they just teach you what you need to know in order to pass the state boards that's it once you get into the career field that's when you learn everything that's when you learn in details how to consult with people they did teach that kind of in school but that thing will go out of your head how to consult the patient how to recommend different products, different procedures, and how would you know what to recommend if you don't know s certain procedures? You fresh out of school don't know nothing. You have to learn by the experience, right? So just know that everything that you learn in this career field, you'll learn on the job. So don't stress yourself. Like I'm kind of stressed because I I'm going to be put in that position soon where I'm going to be like, I don't remember. But you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Also, be ready to expand your knowledge. In this career, in the beauty field, whether you're in cosmetology, I'm talking about estheticians though, but they're very like beauty based. So, cosmetology, 
esthetician, skincare specialist, medical esthetician, laser technicians, electrolysis, anything that you went to school for in the beauty um, aesthetic field, be ready to further education, get more knowledge because you might go out there in the world and say, oh, I want to be a facial specialist and you only do facials or like me, I only want to do laser. Like that's what I want to do. I only want to do laser. I don't even think I want to get into doing facials, but then you never know. You might enjoy doing facials. You know what I mean? You might enjoy just waxing and being a waxologist. You might enjoy just doing laser. You might enjoy, that's if you're a medical esthetician. You know what I mean? You might enjoy just, if you're a cosmetologist, just doing hair. Whatever the case may be. Certain type of different niche in the hair. That's what I feel like is important to like get further um, education because... Like I said, the school just teach you the basics. So when you apply for certain jobs and you're like, I have a certification in eyebrow tinting. I have a certification in microdermabrasion. I have a certification in um, body sculpting. I do have a certification in body sculpting. That's another thing that they taught me. You can literally niche down and say, I mean, you can either niche down and only to do certain procedures or you have more options of getting or landing a job a higher paying job because you have so much different qualifications under your belt and also this industry is always moving there's always a new technique that's coming out that you always want to refresh your brain and make sure that you stay up with the times you know what I mean another thing I'm going back now. Make sure the environment of the school is fitting for you. Especially even when you're going out to book a job. That's something I've learned by just watching people and watching certain TikTok videos and stuff like that. And when I say environment, I mean like, you know when jobs say, do you think that you will fit in with our environment? You know what they're talking about. Do you fit in with the people culturally? Are there people that look like you? Would you communicate well? Would you get along well? Would you guys have common um, or similarities with each other? You have, that stuff is important because I don't want to go to a school where no nobody relates to me. We don't have nothing in common. We can't understand each other. We don't mesh well. Like You know what I mean? Same thing with a job. Like Even though it's a professional setting, that you still want to be connected with people. Like I have too much experience with the school and certain work environments that I've worked in. That is like, and this is not for like esthetician. This is like just outside, just work in, in period, especially out here in California. That's why I'm ready to go back. <laughs> Where it's like, you the only one. And you, if you, you know, if you know, you know, you know, you know. And it's like, it can be a blessing and a curse in the same sense because you stand out, you can stand out negatively or you can stand out positively in senses like that so make sure you fit the dang environment make sure like you feel like the person that's giving you the interview do you feel like you mesh well with her or him do you feel like you guys can have general conversation that doesn't relate to work or like do you feel like you can make connections because connections are important like you can make connections outside of work so when you in work so when you leave outside of work, you can connect with them outside of work. They can give you different connects. If they're leaving the job, where they're going, who's hiring, who's paying more. Like, you want to be able to relate and connect with people in that sense. So, scope up the environment and make sure it's right for you. Yeah, that's all the tips that I can give right now. Yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I post another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like videos like this, let me know down below. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching again and see you guys in my next video. Bye.